This is the textbook example of creating a binary random variable y based on the outcome of a coin flip using the indicator function. So as a reminder, this indicator function, this one with the curly braces looks at what's inside the argument of the function and if it's true or if it occurs then this whole expression evaluates to one otherwise it evaluates to zero so this equation here is saying that if the coin comes up heads then y equals 1. If it does not come up heads, or if it's tails, uh, then y equals 0. So just to show that more explicitly, if we have our coin flip here, there's only two possibilities, heads or tails. And so this formula is saying when the coin is heads, y is equal to 1. And when it's tails, y equals 0. So this is a very common and convenient way in economics and econometrics to take uh, things like coin flips with heads and tails or different categories and turn it into a numeric variable that we can analyze more easily. Uh, and there's a lot of different terms for this kind of variable because they are so common. Uh, so you could call it a binary variable. Um, as it mentions in the text, technically binary just means there are two possible values. Uh, but as a default, people usually mean 0 and 1 are the two possible values. Uh, sometimes people would call y a Bernoulli random variable or an indicator variable, um, indicator as an indicator function up here. I think the most common phrase in economics though is a dummy variable. So you could have a dummy variable for, uh, for example, whether a hospital is for profit or not or a dummy variable for whether someone lives in Missouri, uh, things like that. Uh, but you do have to be careful because in other fields like uh, mathematics, a dummy variable can have a different meaning, um, but you can help impress your economics friends by using our economics jargon uh, to signal that you are familiar with our field. That is all for this example.